How's it everybody? I'm Gabe from the Hawaii Institute of Self-Reliance. Today, I want to talk about machetes. I had a viewer ask me what companies that I choose for a machete. Well, in this video, I will explain why and what companies I use for my machetes that I use on my homestead. And I'm in Hawaii, you can guarantee when I say I use my machetes, I really use my machetes. Sometimes swing it a thousand times a day for weeks on end. No joke. Stay tuned. I'm gonna go right to left. First is the Fiskars brush axe. I really like this design. I can cut stuff down and then grab it with this hook and pull it and, and move stuff around um, and clear it out of the way. It's a really cool design, this bill hook design. I use this a lot in the yard at the homestead, in the jungle. Next up is the Tramatina 12 inch machete. I like this machete for close uh, trail clearing where it's really dense and you don't want to spend the energy to create a large trail. You just want to kind of do a small trail and you don't have room to swing and have a big swing you just got you know uh, a little uh, tight area to work in and these 12 inch tramatinas are very useful next up will be the 14 inch tramatina i think this is one of the most useful it's not too big like if you were to go camping or backpacking i would suggest something like this solid tramatina Latin machete. Now here is a Tramatina Bolo. I like how powerful this is. It's got a lot of weight um, as a Bolo should in forward heavy blade and you don't have to spend a lot of energy chopping. This would be good for a mixture of medium to light vegetation and that's what I would use this for. If I wanted to go from ferns to guava and not have to have two different kinds of blades, this is a very good all around. The Tramatina Bolo. Yes. Next up is the Imacasa Penga. I really like this blade as well. It has that forward heavy design. I think this is like a Caribbean design on this this blade shape right here but these are made in El Salvador solid great handle that you can shape that's what I like about these machetes is is you can sand them down and shape them to your hand and they're so cheap that you don't worry about you know if you ruin them because you can just go spend another 10 to 20 dollars and get a new one and these don't typically come sharp a lot of Latin machetes will come dull, so you can put your own edge on them. And the handles are a little blocky, so you can sand it down to your, uh, to your hand size. The only thing I'm really missing is a lanyard hole. But these work really well, and I use this a lot. This is the newest one out of the batch, but you can tell I use my machetes. I always chuckle when YouTubers show a machete, brand new, shiny, and say how much work they've done with it. Yeah, come on guys. We know that when it's all brand new and shiny, you maybe chopped a log or two. Well, you can tell 
I'm in the jungle, and when I talk about machetes, usually people should listen. That's my opinion, of course. But anybody that's from Hawaii, or South America, or Asia, when they talk about machetes, it's best to listen. And there you have it, my favorite machetes. Well, there's some of my favorite machetes that I use a lot, and each one of them has their uses and their positives and negatives, of course, but I'm just showing you the machete that I use and the companies that I like. The only one missing is Ontario. I, I've had Ontarios over the years, but at this particular moment, I don't have one. I gave my uh, Ontario machete to a friend. I do that a lot. Um, here in Hawaii, a lot of people will need a machete. So you loan it to them. And you're like, hey, you know, and then they're only like $20. So you're like, yeah, just keep it, you know, and, or give me a little bit of money or whatever. And, and you can have that machete. So I do that a lot. And uh, I loan out my machetes and loan out my knives. Not the really expensive ones and not the ones that I really like. Like, I'm not loaning out my Bark River or, you know, my Bark River knives. Not so much. Um, I'll loan out my Essies and my Tops. Sure, go ahead. You know, you can use them. But the, the knives and the machetes that I really like, I don't loan out too much. But, again, uh, I would suggest Dramatina, Imakasa, Fiskers does okay. Uh, I think Ontario um, is definitely up there. They're in the, the top three of, of my favorite machetes. Uh, I would say Dramatina and, and uh, uh, Ontario make really good machetes. So they're definitely in the top three. Uh, let's see, I think Condor, I've had a couple Condor uh, type machetes and they work pretty good. Uh, so I, I think, you know, again, if you're looking for a cheap machete for around the house uh, or the yard, I would definitely go with, with the Dramatina if you're looking for something like a backpacking machete, still, Tramatina just works really well. You can modify them. Uh, I think most Latin machetes will be excellent. And you just have to know how to use them and be safe. I hope you like this video. Comment. And I hope this helped you out. Please hit the subscribe button. And until next time, Aloha!